The ABC10 Firepower Money team is tracking the movements of PG&E. Well, the company headed back to criminal court today, accused of crimes in the 2019 Kincaid fire. The day started with a surprise announcement. ABC10. We were expecting a few more weeks of court here in Sonoma County, but abruptly the proceedings ground to a halt today. PG&E's lawyers and the district attorney went up to the judge and asked him to put the proceedings on pause. The DA said they were hopeful a resolution may be obtained in this case. They asked the judge for a stay pending negotiations, which we take to mean that there could be a plea deal in the works here over this case. Again, this is over the 2019 Kincaid fire. You may remember this is the fire that burned in in Sonoma County in October of 2019. It was during those massive PG&E blackouts to millions of people that were meant to prevent wildfires. This one, Cal Fire says, was started by a PG&E power line that was left on. PG&E admits that its power line sparked the fire, but says it did not commit a crime. The DA here has charged 33 criminal offenses against PG&E. We don't know anything about the negotiations. Neither side would talk to us, but they did ask the judge to put things on hold until February 20. 8th. That's when we expect to either learn about this deal or watch these hearings resume. In Sonoma County, Brandon Ridiman, ABC 10 News. Now, PG&E has tried to settle criminal charges without admitting to crimes before. Prosecutors in Butte County convicted PG&E of 84 felony counts of manslaughter after the 2018 campfire. They say the company offered large amounts of money to try to settle that case in civil court instead.